Hey guys, it is your girl, Mirandi. I'm back with another video. And so I have another message for you guys today. And um, pretty much Heavenly Father has really been talking to me. Well, he's been talking to me about a lot of things. But he, he's been also talking about children and kingdom children. And, you know just about breaking chains, our generation, our lineage, things like that. And so as he has been taking the time to speak with me about, you know, chains that I'm breaking and my family lineage and, you know, just going back to the basics, going back to the beginning, you know, he showed some things to me. And on the message that I have for you guys today, um, this is for the barren women and the surrogate women. And so throughout scripture in the Bible, um, you can see in the beginning with Abraham and Sarah, if you go back to Genesis, you know, God pretty much promises Abraham that he was going to give him and his wife, Sarah, a son. And so... You know, Abraham and Sarah, you know, they were getting old in age and, you know, they weren't trusting and believing in God, that God would do it. And so, you know, the message that I have for you guys today is if you believe that God will do it, God will do it for you. You don't have to take anyone else's blessings. You don't have to steal from anyone. You don't have to, you know step out of alignment of you know the will of god because what god has for you is for you what god has for you is for you and sometimes we can put ourselves in situations where we can delay a process from coming to us because of our disobedience and us stepping out of alignment and so what ends up happening is, you know, God still blesses Abraham and Sarah with the child because, you know, just like the Bible says, God is not a God who shall lie. He, you know, is not a liar. The devil is the father of lies and God is the father of truth. And so he still blesses them with a child. But, you know, because of you know sarah and abraham not believing what did they end up doing kind of like what a lot of women do nowadays today is you know they get they use the slave the maid to bear a child because that woman's womb is open you know god has the power to close the womb and open the womb God is the ultimate creator. God is the one who gives life. He is the alpha. He is the omega. He is the beginning. He is the end. And so, you know, what ended up happening all the way from the beginning? And you can see in the Bible also how this continues to happen. If you look at the generations, you know, Sarah and Abraham didn't believe, so they kind of delayed their promise. They ended up having a child with pretty much um, the maidservant. So the maidservant and Abraham conceived a child together. And then when God finally did bless Sarah with the child, Sarah was, you know, envious and jealous of the maidservant and the maidservant you know kind of thought that she you know was better than sarah because she gave birth to the first child and so god told sarah that i'm sorry sarah told abraham for basically ishmael to leave because that was his first son and he didn't want ishmael to basically be the first son to inherit the blessings. But what ended up happening is pretty much God still blessed Ishmael and made sure that the maidservant was taken care of. 
and also God blessed Sarah and God also blessed Isaac as well and so God took care of them and again God is not a God that shall lie he will keep his promises we just have to believe and have faith in what it is that he's saying and what it is that he's doing and so you know if you look in the Bible once Isaac ends up getting older Isaac ends up pretty much going through the same thing he marries Rebecca and then Rebecca you know you know wanted to have a child her womb was kind of barren too they prayed to God God gave them a child and then they gave them twins and what happened there was favoritism in the bloodline and because there was favoritism in the bloodline it caused a lot of chaos so when we step out of alignment with what god is telling us to do we breed pretty much chaos disobedience breeds chaos and that's what god had been speaking to me a lot saying is that disobedience breeds chaos and so what ends up happening is you know if you don't know the story i kind of touched base and talked about it a little bit prior but what ends up happening is you know the twins were fighting from birth even in the womb and then when they got older you know the older twin stole the birthrights or i'm sorry the younger twin stole the birthrights of the older twin Esau and Jacob so Jacob stole Esau's blessings because Esau was the oldest and what ended up happening because of that disobedience it caused conflict and and you know a lot of disorder and so out of that disorder what ends up happening is you know Esau goes by himself he's upset he's mad he doesn't understand why things is happening to him Jacob's going about his life and you know Jacob God still seen what Jacob did and so when it was time for Jacob to marry Jacob had to work twice as hard for everything because of you know what he, what he did what he stole his his brother's birthright even though God still showed favor on him because remember God is not a God that shall lie and so even you know demons know that the demonic knows that god is not a god that shall lie so god had to keep his covenant because he's not a god that shall lie even if it was done out of disorder and so what ends up happening is jacob ends up you know having he finds a wife that he falls madly in love with and before he could get her though he had to work even twice as hard in order to pretty much you know get the woman who he really wanted he wanted Rachel and not Leah and so what ends up happening is because God seen how Leah was not liked how Leah pretty much was not wanted and wanted to show her favor and felt bad for her God ended up still blessing Leah and opening her womb and making her fruitful and close the womb of Rachel and Rachel followed the same thing in the bloodline. And what did Rachel do? Rachel ends up finding, kind of like a surrogate, a lot of what's going on right now in today's world. You know, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. So everything that's happening is just a repeating pattern, a repeating cycle. That's why it's so important for us to know the word and to know and go back to the beginning to see exactly how does this align with my generation how does this align with the things that are going on in my life how does this align with general generational curses in my bloodline you know we have to go back to the beginning and see where things align and so guess what sarah just like sarah did just like um right or i'm sorry yeah rachel ended up doing what did she do? She tried to have them conceive 
Rachel tried to basically have Jacob and both of them conceive by getting a maidservant to bear a child with. And so God wants you to know, trust in him, trust in the plans that he has for you, submit fully to him, ask God to open your womb. You don't need a surrogate, you don't need a maidservant. God wants to give you the desires of your heart. But, you know, a lot of people, sometimes we fall in love with God's hand and what he can do, but we don't want to do the work. The Bible says the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. So a lot of times we don't want to surrender and fully give our heart fully to God. So surrender fully to God. Surrender fully to God. And God will give you the desires of your heart. He doesn't want you to be barren. God is not a God that shall lie. And so if you're trusting and believing and having a child, God will do it for you. Just be obedient to what God is telling you to do. And don't allow yourself to delay your own blessings by stepping out of disobedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Remember I told you guys that. Because what happens? Diso disobedience gives birth to sin. And what does sin give birth to? Death. And so you don't want that because we can stop, you know, a lot of things if we just take the time to fully surrender to God. So I pray this message blesses you guys. I love you. Be blessed and I'll be back with another video. Bye guys.